My name is Louise Petrozella, and I'm serving as the director of the Clean Energy Technology and Entrepreneurship Program here. When students enter the Clean Energy Technology Program, they will be taught the foundational skills for entering into sustainable business design, uh, solar energy applications, solar thermal applications. Basically, they'll be given lots of skills to enter the workforce and get good paying jobs. The program allows students to emphasize a couple of different tracks in their learning. They can go into solar or they can go into energy auditing track. The solar industry is booming here in the Puget Sound area, so students are getting jobs quite rapidly in a lot of local companies. One of our success stories as far as our graduates go is uh, Dan Harp. My name is Dan Harp. I'm a solar designer at Artisan Electric. Uh, the thing that attracted me to the clean tech program uh, was the support that I was seeing for, for renewable energies uh, going forward in the future. The clean tech program prepared me for a position in the clean tech industry by, by helping me get a fundamental uh, idea, kind of a view from a thousand feet of, of the solar industry in general. A large component of student learning includes a hands-on learning. As they become advanced students in the program, they're given community projects to work on. There was a gentleman in Seattle's central area, his name's Dennis Comer. He owns a vegan restaurant, and it's a food desert down there. There's not a lot of fresh vegetables and produce available for the community. My name is uh, Dennis Comer. I am the uh, owner of The Urban Buggy. It is a vegan deli and grocer. Uh, but the primary thing that I do on the side is I am an urban farmer. Um, when I got this plot, the city was going to do everything. They brought in water, they gave me a shed, they gave me the space. The one restriction was I couldn't run power. So I was looking online for um, colleges and universities that may have, have a, a solar or an energy or a technical type of program. And I came across uh, uh, Shoreline and Louise. And from there, it's just taken off. Dennis challenged my students to come up with an off-grid, uh, battery-powered solar design so he could bring heat to the heating pads for his vegetable starts so he could run some small electronics on property. It was really fun. We, you know, I got to work with a small group of people who were also interested in solar and other students and so just working with the team has been, been really good. All of these projects are driven by student learning and student design. So not only are they learning how to advance their knowledge in the classroom, but then they're able to go out into the community and apply those learned skills. Shoreline Community College is the best place for the Clean Energy Technology Program because of the quality of the instructors and also the outside industry participation that they have. It's on the rise really quick. The prices are dropping of solar and it's becoming a lot easier for people to be able to put solar on their house. I highly encourage anyone these days to um, increase their knowledge in clean energy technology because for the future as a people we're going to need to keep things clean and efficient. 